When you think of Carnarvon and what it's most famous for, one of the first things that probably pops into your mind is bananas, when really, it should be this, the vital role the town played in getting rocket ships to outer space. To pay tribute to such momentous occasions and to ensure no one ever forgets, the Carnarvon Space and Technology Museum was built to pay homage to those who helped create history and to educate those in the future. Nowadays, it's a massive tourist attraction, luring kids and inquisitive adults from across the country. The museum was officially opened in 2012 by astronaut Buzz Aldrin, who was the second man to walk on the moon. The first man to walk on the moon was, of course, his colleague Neil Armstrong, who stepped out of Apollo 11 just nine minutes earlier. The museum houses historical parts of both the Carnarvon tracking station and the OTC satellite Earth station, each playing very important roles in the early space industry. Commissioned in 1964, it operated for 11 years. It was the last station to communicate with the space capsules leaving the Earth's orbit and the last to make contact before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. At the height of the space operation, 220 of 2,000 local Carnarvon residents were working here at the tracking station. That works out to be one in every 10 locals working to create space history. The original satellite dish, which is technically called the Cashorn Antenna, was commissioned in 1966. At a width of 12.8 metres, the dish has interacting parabolic and hyperbolic reflectors in a characteristic sugar scoop form and is the only remaining example left in the world. The OTC was established to meet the need for more reliable and higher quality communications for NASA's Apollo Moon Project. In 1969, the satellite played a pivotal role in getting Apollo 11 to the moon and back safely. It relayed Neil Armstrong's first steps to a mesmerised Perth audience, the first live telecast in WA history. If you really want to know what it felt like taking off in Apollo 11, then this seven minute simulation is for you. All right, David, I'm ready. T minus 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, The simulation gives you the opportunity to experience what it was really like to be on board an Apollo spacecraft. The Carnarvon Space and Technology Museum is run solely by volunteers, with next year being the 50th anniversary of the first landing on the moon. The museum is a great day out for the little and big kids and is a great educational tool to teach tourists about Carnarvon's part it played in the space race.